Lord Judge, yeah. uh, Sister Good by Names. Uh, I want to thank God for the revival week we had in church here. Uh, the revival week, uh, the Spirit of the Lord pushed me to continue praying and fasting. And I did not know exactly why, but I just obeyed. I thank God when I continued in prayers, the Lord revealed it to me, the evil altars at our home. And the Spirit of the Lord took me back even to the time I was seven years and showed, started showing me all the evil altars that were being raised at our family and some of them particularly pointed at me. I thank God I was able to pray and I could see every night I could see how I was overcoming. Yeah. Secondly, I also want to thank God on 23rd of this month, when this the last week was my birthday. Yeah. Um, on 22nd, that's the night to 23rd, I had an encounter with the Lord. And the Lord gave me a, a deeper revelation um, and connected it to the relation of the children of Israel, what was happening in this month. And I'm very grateful to the Lord because in the morning when I woke up, I, the burden was lifted off. I saw things in a different angle and my life was totally not the same. Praise God. They say we should summarize this testimony. But mine is so long. In October, uh, but I'll summarize it. In October 2014, I went to hospital after having tried to conceive the second time and failing. The doctor sent me for a scan. The scan revealed my uterus was bulky with multiple fibroids. And there was no possibility of another conception because he told me. The, the previous, before I conceived my first daughter, I had had again um, a fibroid operation. And uh, the, that, that operation showed my left hand tube had blocked. The only tube I was remaining with was the right hand tube. And this time around in October 2014, the scan again showed the right hand tube too had blocked. And therefore, there was no possibility of another conception. In last uh, 2015, March, I felt a bit sick. When I went to hospital, I was told, the doctor told me to go and, uh, she said I had to do an investigation. She told me, sent me for a scan. When I went for a scan, the person there told me that I'm seeing something, but you need to go back out and drink a lot of water. When I went back out, I came back, she told me I've seen multiple pregnancy. I asked her, what do you mean? She says, you're expecting twins. She, I asked her, what about the fibroids? She asked me, did you have fibroids? I said, yes. She said, I'm only seeing one very small one. I burst in tears because it was beyond me. I went back to the doctor. She read the report. She checked my hospital report. She told me that, ah, Esther, this is a miracle. Do you pray? I said, yes. She told me, right, indeed, things of God are beyond human. And I want to say that the devil attempted to evict the twins. I had blood, uh, blood flow at four months. But when I went to hospital, the scan showed the twins were intact. The uterus was closed, and the doctors wondered where the blood was coming from. My dear brothers and sisters, these are the twins. <laughs> Thank you. 
the day when I was supposed to go and vote in Mulago, I was arrested and slept in. They told me it is a criminal trespass. Ah, the police found there. Criminal trespass in Mulago Hospital when I'm a health worker. It is where I did my pharmacy practice when I was training. That is the devil's workshop. But it, 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 manipulations. But I hum, I'm here to humiliate the devil because I am set free and I'm for, for it is finished and I'm free indeed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Charity. Thank you, all the pastors and the pastors and the ministers of this church. Thank you so much for all your lives. Hallelujah. 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 We are celebrating the Lord's celebration today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want us to clap for Papa and